Welcome back to Mark Reed 757. Hey, this is my uh, journal entry, blog, however you want to say it. Uh, today I'm going to be talking a little bit about bariatric surgery. Now, I didn't do enough research to exactly know all the ins and outs and everything. However, this is more of a, a question as to rather I should get it or not. Uh, last Friday, right after my weigh-in, I went to the doctor's office and it was the first time I was going to go see this uh, nurse practitioner, uh, Dr. Kevin Nash. He kind of like the wrestler. Um, let's see here. He recommended that I get bariatric surgery because I've been with this particular doctor's office for the last, oh, say, three years or so. And throughout that whole three years, I've been teetering over 400 just under 400 just over 400 just under 400 and this keeps going on and on so he says hey look whatever you're doing is not working you should do uh, bariatric surgery and I really don't know what to think about it I mean I, I would really love to do a natural weight loss that's what I've been wanting to do these this whole time this whole three four years and for whatever reason, I, I get another excuse or something. Uh, granted, I, I got a little bit of an incentive this time with my boss saying, look, if you come in overweight from the previous week, then you lose 100 bucks." You know, $100, I don't quite want to lose $100. But, you know, this is my incentive not to lose it is to keep losing the money so I don't I'm, keep losing the weight so I don't lose the money. Um I've seen successes and I've seen failures with the surgery. You know, I did uh, look into uh, other people that's had it. Some had success and obviously they are plastered everywhere. And the ones that had failures that I know they've had the surgery and they're, you know, uh, out there. I, I guess you can, your stomach can still expand again. It takes a little while, but it does do it. Or depending what you eat, if you're eating like really sugary, bad stuff for you, you know, there, you can still fail. And I believe if, if you can do it, you know, naturally, well then it all comes down to willpower regardless. So why not have the willpower and the desire and the motivation to do it? and that that was kind of my lines of thinking well I'm not positive if I should do it or not and I talked to my brother my older brother and I had a re, re, we both have an older brother that was well overweight well over 400 probably pushing 500 pounds and he passed away last year and he my older brother told me that our oldest brother was contemplating bariatric surgery and he never went through with it because he felt like he could naturally do it and now that he passed away that's weighing pretty heavy on me although I'm still at a bypass I'm unsure what to do I'm not scared of the surgery I'm just scared that I do this and I'm out of work for a little bit of time and I'll, I'll also be out of you know I've been wanting to stay disc golfing and stuff I don't know how long that's going to keep me out of doing that plus I've been in the habit of going to the gym and I don't know if that's going to keep me out of going to the gym so that's another thing I mean I'm just trying to weigh all my options and figure out what's best and what's not best and I'm, I welcome any kind of feedback I can get uh, still at 387 and you know continue to trend downwards anyway uh, this is going to be the end of my video and next video i'll be talking about fast food